Hey chickadees! Today we're going to look at the artwork of a famous still life painter named Maya Kopitseva. Then we're going to set up our own still lifes and then draw them. Okay, let's get started. Maya Kopitseva was born in 1924 in Abkhazia. Abkhazia is an area near Russia. She was famous for her brightly colored still lifes of everyday items that could be found around the house, such as fruits, vegetables, plates, and cups. I want you to choose one or two simple things from around your house to draw. I also want you to look for a piece of clothing like a scarf or a shirt to put your objects on top of. Spend a little time arranging your still life until you like how it looks, and then it's time to draw. Okay guys, I have my still life all set up. You can see I have a pattern scarf for my background, like how Maya Kopitseva liked to include colorful patterns in her still lives. I have two bananas and my lucky rabbit mug. I suggest when you pick out objects for your still life that you try to keep it pretty simple. Okay, I'm gonna be starting with a pencil today, even though I normally try to save time by drawing with a Sharpie. I think it's important for you to see that when I draw from observation, I tend to look and erase a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna decide where to start. I think maybe the bananas would be a good choice because from where I'm sitting, the bananas are pretty close to me and they're pretty big. They're gonna take up a lot of the paper. So I noticed that my bananas have a curve. So I'm just gonna draw that curve like that. And this banana is in front of that banana. So I'm gonna draw this one first. And I'm not even going to worry about this part where they're connected yet. I just want to draw those curves in. Okay, and this I think I should smooth out a little bit. Okay, so this to me looks like an upside down V. I'm going to draw that V. And turn it into a shape. There's the top of the other banana. There's kind of a little bump right here on top of the upside down V. I'm gonna draw that in too. It's kind of raggedy. Okay, and I know there's some other details in my bananas, like the spots, and there's these bumps on the bottom, but I'll go back and add those in after I've added some of the other big parts of my picture. So the next thing to do is draw my rabbit mug. So when I look down in it, I can see the opening is like an oval. So I'm going to draw the oval first. And I have to confess to you guys, it is really hard for me to draw an oval. It usually takes me a couple of tries to get one that I think looks pretty good and even. And this one's all right. Not a hundred percent perfect, but the goal isn't to get it perfect. It's just to get it pretty close. Okay. I could keep fiddling with it, but I think that's good enough for now. Okay. And I can see that the sides of my rabbit mug are curvy and I'm going to skip the handle at first because I just want to get the sides in. So I'm going to curve in a little bit and out a little bit. And in a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. In, out, in. Now that the main part of the mug is in place, now I'm going to put in that backwards C shape for my handle. And I'm going to turn it into a shape by drawing this curve again. Okay. I'm just trying to fix this a little bit. Okay. 
and I have my zigzaggy scarf back here. Now I don't want to drive myself too crazy drawing zigzags forever and ever. So I'm going to try to draw the edges of the scarf. It's kind of ruffled up. I'm just going to draw some bumps for those ruffles. And then if I wanted to spend a really long time on this drawing, I could look carefully at each and every zigzag. But I don't want you to make yourself nuts, and I don't want to go nuts. So I'm going to just approximate. That means I'm not going to look at every individual zigzag. I just know that they're there, so I'll include them. So I've got the mug, I've got the bananas, I've got the zigzags. Now I'm just going to go in and add any other details that I want to include. You don't have to show every single thing. For example, if I wanted to draw every little spot on here, I would go bonkers. So I'm just going to include some of the bigger spots. And for my rabbit mug, I'm not going to draw every little piece of fur on that rabbit. I'm just going to do enough so that people get the idea. So it's a little dark circle at the tips of my bananas. And this upside down V where they're connected is really dark. It's kind of zigzaggy looking up at the top there. And I'll just include a few of the spots. And they're not perfect circles. They're kind of like little brown blobs. Okay, I can see there are a few lines on the bananas too. You can feel them with your finger. Um, so I'm just gonna draw a few little lines. Okay, all right. I'm going to color my still life. You can leave yours just as a pencil drawing if you want. Um, you can outline it. You can use crayons or markers or paint. I think I'll do Sharpie and crayon. Um, I hope you guys had fun and I will see you next week for another lesson.